everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome to uh, Tin Can. Uh, welcome aboard the Tin Can. This is this game is meant to be an immersive and faithful space survival experience. Of course, patience, practice, and a lot of deaths for you to understand the complexity of your escape pod and its systems. I uh, I literally saw this game. I saw that it was on sale, and I was like, yeah, I I literally just bought it. I don't know what it what it is or what it's about. Everything here is simulated down to each individual component. Everything reacts organically to the events you will encounter and your own decisions. In your old and rusty pod, the tech support cannot hear you scream. If you're lonely, feel free to join the community. Have fun in space. The Tin Can Team. Um. So yeah, I I straight up don't know what this is. Can I window this? Yes, I can. Ah, uh, hold on. Okay, we have now reached my standards. Um, I'll drop this a little bit. Uh, we got wads. Interact is F, use tool is E. Let's crank that a little bit. I don't know who uses mouse sensitivity inversion. Those people are nuts. Uh, I speak English rather fluently. Ooh, let's, let's put my motion blur down. And let's put this up. Rescue. Maintain your beacon online for rescues to find you and unlock new components and systems to survive longer in the following scenarios. Face your fears and use your wits in custom-made challenges meant to drive you mad. Aim for the longest survival time and beat the community. Have a stroll in the pod and play with its systems. The only thing that can kill you here is yourself. Well, let's give it a shot. We have Relay Station 9 and Medusa Mark 3. Oh, oh, this is a tutorial. Learn the fundamentals of Tin Can before exploring the pod further on your own. The liquid nitrogen can be emptied to cool the pod atmosphere, but don't raise the pressure too high. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit of trepidation now. <laughs> yeah, I literally was like, oh, that looks cool, bet. And I just decided to install it uh, immediately. Um, it looks like it's a, it's an indie, who made this? It's an indie developer. This is called Tin Can Studio and it was published by Tin Can and Indie Arc. Uh, and Indie Arc just does other stuff like this. They did Peglin. They did Time Rift. The Terraformers. Loading the Tin Can. Oops, sorry. Could you do me a favor? I was supposed to do the maintenance of one of our old... Okay, one mo. All right, I'm down here now. Uh, I did the I did the first tutorial. <laughs> I forgot to unpause it, which is why we're skipping ahead to the second one. But the main problem with like recording this so far is that like. The loading screens Gary? take a while, so I want to... Can wanna... you hear me? Okay. Sorry to bother you again, but I'm stuck in the ship's engine room, and I still don't have time to take care of that damn Medusa escape pod. You're going to have to get inside the pod again. We're going to check to see if the life support systems of the pod are working properly. I'm going to need you to turn them on one by one so we can check their values on their monitor. Okay, so last time I rebuilt one of these things. I think it was this one? Yeah. I rebuilt the oxygen uh, uh, First, monitor. let's make sure that we have what we need to breathe properly, all right? I need you to find the oxygen system and to turn it on. You can't miss it. It's the... So, on Earth, at sea level, the atmospheric pressure is one bar, and the oxygen level is around yeah. 50%. That's our target. Cool. As you can see, we're all good here, and the value is green. But if the value turns red and drops below 16%, you'll find yourself in hypoxia. It's not a good thing, as you can imagine. The opposite is also true. Too much oxygen can also be deadly, so always keep an eye on these values. So this is a cool mechanic. You can you can hold on to uh, handles and use it to pull yourself up. I don't know if it works like super great. Like I can't imagine that my arm is this long
So the pump inside the oxygen system diffuses the oxygen contained inside an O2 bottle into the air. Below the oxygen system you'll find the carbon dioxide scrubber used to get rid of the excess of CO2. I need you to turn it on as well. Ah, uh, right. Good. You have to be aware that too much CO2 in the air is just as deadly as not having enough oxygen. Now let's check the pressure generator uh, just below the CO2 scrubber. Turn it on. So this system is here to maintain the atmospheric pressure at one bar by Interesting. releasing or capturing nitrogen in the air. The pod cannot sustain more than 1.7 bar, so be careful with too high pressures. It's also important to remember that the required oxygen levels and the lethal levels of CO2 vary depending on pressure, all right? We're good for the atmospheric systems. Now let's turn the temperature system on. You know, space is cold, but there is nothing there to efficiently transfer heat. Yeah, all right, I mean, good, sure, they got it right. Because everyone's like, well, space is cold, but like the thing about but space being cold like is like, one, space is technically cold, but you're not you going to be to cold, cold if you don't like be in cooked. space. Because there's nothing to take heat away from you, and so you would never feel the lack of cold, or the, the lack of heat, which is what cold is. Um, and it's why it's such a problem. So like a lot of times the issues in space are not that it's too cold. It's that it's too hot. The temperature system uses power to produce heat and liquid nitrogen to cool the air. I can tell you that cooling the air is very important. When All right. You should be feeling warmer now. Uh, everything looks to be in order. Thanks for your help. You can go back to your work. And I have my own work to do to make sure our ship's reactor doesn't cook us all in the next few hours. Cool. See ya. All right. I've done I've done a uh, my fair share of tutorials, I think. I want to I want to see the rest of the game. I did two tutorials. I feel like it might be a bit fun to observe the catastrophe. Don't you think? Yeah, I don't know when this is going to get uploaded. I might upload it during my, uh, uh, like, during my sabbatical. Because I'm actually recording this in my little off time. Uh, just because, like... You know, obviously taking two weeks off is, is one thing, but what really happens over those two weeks is that I use it to get ahead on the next two weeks so that I can more easily, uh, like, record stuff. Because, like, you know, I a lot of long-time viewers will know this, but I post eight videos. Okay, go time. Okay. Pile kilowatts are at 17. Oh, that's cool. The pod is hovering in the 20s. Nitrogen is 79. That's correct. Oxygen is at 20%. Carbon dioxide is hovering around 1%. Breathability is... Oh, that's fun. Hmm. So if I turn that off, what'll happen? Is that just the monitor? Hot temperature seems to be going up. Oh, I can turn off the lights. That's cool. Okay, so it was getting hotter in here. Okay. 
O2 is going down. What if we turn off nitrogen to balance it out? Let's leave this off, actually. Because, like, it just occurred to me, like, if I really can't die in here... Oh, that's cool. Ooh, radical. You can turn this on and off. Hmm, interesting. So you can just totally black it all out. Cool. This is terrifying. Let's see if we can't get some lights back on in here. Nope. Let's leave that off. Interesting. So there's like fuses in there. That's the eject pod button. We saw that. What is that? A model of what I'm in? That's kind of fun. A tape recorder. Interesting. So... Carbon dioxide is starting to pile up. Okay. So now we're recycling it. I guess I don't understand what the difference between a carbon dioxide scrubber and a oxygen generator are. Okay, it's now 30C in here. Oh, I turned off the repair station at one point. Gravity generator. Ooh. 1G. Okay. <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. Okay, and then holding down makes it easier. Okay. I want to see if I can overpressurize this thing. Okay, cool. I guess maybe gravity might not be the most useful of things. Okay. Now, how do I put this back down? Oh, I'm crouching. Whoops. Okay, and then over in here, what is this? Spare parts? Repair station. Okay, so yeah. It's in here. Nothing by the looks. Ooh. Uh. Hello? Okay. Is this cooling my pod down? I know that some uh, fire extinguishers do work based on temperature, but some of them are just... Uh, things that smother... Hmm. If 
breathability is now dropping to 60. Things are getting hot in here. No, I won't find the problem. You can just open it. <laughs> You're dizzy. Oh, I can't actually leave through there. Okay, that's all right. Guess we'll close it. Nitrogen is now at 80%. Oh, there's no there's no air at all. Oh, is this thing empty? Guess let's grab this one. Hypoxia, too much CO2. I dicked around in there for seven minutes. Interesting, fun, cool. See, it's like, I, I, I'm very supportive of games that are like, they call themselves sandbox games but you actually only have a very small area. Um, yeah, like a sandbox game where I don't even know how to put this. Most people say sandbox to mean a giant, huge open world like Elden Ring or GTA or Breath of the Wild, where it's like there's so much space, so many things to do like an infinite sandbox, but the, I would almost argue that this is more of a sandbox where it's like, you have this small room about the size of one real sandbox, you know, full of sand. Uh, we will let you like play in it and you can do whatever you want and we'll give you, you know, all these scenarios in it. Load as many components. Oh boy. This is not a drill. In memory, astronauts who perished. I wonder if those are Kickstarter backers. Possibly. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. Okay, I didn't grab anything. I hope that's okay. Everything looks okay in here? Rescue beacon. Like, there's always the problem of, like, you launch an escape pod and, like, no data. Hmm. You launch an escape pod out of a spaceship and, like, for what, you know? Can I not see anything out there? That makes sense, but... What have I done? <laughs> oh, I touched a thing and it and it shocked me. That makes sense. This is like I, I do love games like this, where it's like, here is your field. Deal, well, now it's gonna crash, but like, here's your field, this is how it works. 
enjoy it and spend time in it as you will. You know, like... Because, like, say what you will about, like, again, like, um, a huge, huge, big one. Like, Crusader Kings is like, here is medieval Europe. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape You know, you can... With the, lim the, with the limits of this game's engine and what you can think of... Reactor meltdown imminent. And what actually happens in this game. You know, as long as it can be accomplished through these menus... And it exists inside of medieval Europe you'll be fine and you can do that and that's kind of what Crusader Kings is like you know like anyone that you can think of is gonna be in there you know that's how that's how it goes So can I have the, like, generic lights on? Oh, there's a little ball. Oh, it's a Wilson. <laughs> yeah, there you go. My face is behind it, but... Or, uh, it's behind my face, but there's a little thing. Okay. Hmm. Oh, boy. Okay. Breathability is good. The atomic pile is fine. Yeah, like, you have the problem of, like, um... And there's a lot of horror that can be found in this. Horror. Okay, what's going on? The asteroid field. Wait, yeah, okay. We'll go, uh, whoa, whoa. Of course, you realize that most asteroids fields do not have the density required to uh, be of a, any warning to me. Sometimes it will be a problem just because the ship is so big, but normally asteroids are like really far apart. Because if asteroids were really close, then they would keep bumping into each other. Alright, these lights are coming back on. Okay. Everything's good. I would love for this to be co-op. Like, imagine if this was like, keep talking and nothing explodes, or nobody explodes. What the, there's, there's a game where in one person has a smartphone or a paper book, like a printout, or uh, is, is looking through a website. Okay. Gun jump that. Uh, or they're looking through a website of like, Where's the leak? Is it in the floor? Hold on, I gotta put this down. It's obscuring so much of my screen. God, can you die by like being struck by asteroid? Okay. Asteroids are cool. Oh, this is a generator. As well. Seriously, where the hell is this leak? Oops, that ain't right. Is it up here somewhere? That'd make the most sense. Hmm. It's like I'm like monkey barring around, you know? Oh, here it is. Doy. Well, it was a small leak. Double edged sword. It means that I don't. Oh, that's Look. 
the trigger uh, uh, moves at the same time on that. Asteroid field, errorless, no errors. That's good at least. What's going on here? It's a good temperature, We're holding at 21C. See, one thing that I will say in defense of, well, that ain't good. In defense of Fahrenheit as a temperature system, like Fahrenheit is a million times better in terms of what a human actually experiences. Like, okay, maybe it's time to switch back over. Yeah. Okay. I, I have seen the caution warnings. Let's reboot this just to make sense. What the hell was I talking about? Okay. Gosh. Okay. Temperature holding. Error. Dirty filter, low palm full hand. Oh, shit. Nope, I don't need that. Okay. Okay, so now we have low pump and dirty filter. This game, I believe, does have a VR setting, by the way. Alright. Pump, pump. Air filter. Oh, wait. Press F to clean. Okay, cool. Then we had a pump. Electrical high capacity hydraulics is hydraulic a pump? That doesn't look like what I'm looking for at all. Electronics, batteries. Those spare parts. Go through the O2. We just need to Can I throw it in the repair matic the pump problem? Maybe we can do one of these. Is that what you want? Error list. Okay, senior warning. Error list in here. On bat. What does that mean? Bat. Battery? Those batteries look full. Bad power trans, bad monitor. Yeah, bad monitor makes sense, my man. Can I rip this off and just plug it in here? I can't. Oop, that's my head.
Okay, and now... Okay, I've seen the warnings. Oop, game's loading. <laughs> this is intense. This is fun. Bad power transfer, bad monitor still. I guess if the logic is that, like, they just have a, uh, a very good and stringent, like, group of people, you know, in case of anything, then, you know, space rescue does make sense. Because normally, like, the idea that, oh, well, you know, I am a million billion miles from home, but luckily I, I hopped in a little escape pod, I'll be fine. That never could happen. Wow, I did it, though. Cool. <laughs> Okay, one button to rule them all. Does that mean you only have one hand? Fireworks. Probably things continue to explode. Will it ever end? Under pressure, no touching. Mmm. Open window. Murphy's Law. Murphy's Law is that if something can go wrong, it will. Cold start. Interesting. This is cool. Um, I might come back and play more of this. I might not. I don't even know when I'm going to upload this. Um... But yeah, uh, this isn't a regular LP. I don't even know if I'm going to play the whole game because, like, the story content is basically everything that you've seen. Like, as far as I can tell, it's just like, oh, and by the way, stuff's going to explode. But uh, if this interests you, you should buy this game. Uh, I got it on sale, so they might put it on sale again. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys next time. I've been out for this. has been Tin Can, uh, and it's pretty good. I'll see you later. Bye.